quick video telling you about an app that if you've got an Android phone could be worth your while to download. It doesn't cost you anything but it is very very early so expect some bugs. It's called FT8CN and it allows you with an SSB transceiver to transmit and receive FT8 signals all off your mobile phone. Thus, you don't need your bulky laptop to be transmitting and receiving FT8 while portable. Now, it's not one of these fancy super polished apps that you can get from the Play Store. Instead, you need to download it from GitHub. I'll include the link in the description below, but it's github.com slash n0boy slash ft8cn. Anyway, have a poke around and download it to your Android and set it up. There's a few things that you've got to allow permissions for. Then put it near a receiver that's receiving FT8 signals. Just set up an HF receiver on a popular and active FT8 frequency. Right now 10 meters is open, so I'm on 28074, but alternatives include 14074 or if it's at night try 7 megahertz 7074 anyway leave your receiver on that with the volume turned up because we'll be needing this audio to test the app I've already installed the app but if you want you can start it up once you've installed it or later on just press the button here it comes up and not much on the screen at first but it's important to look at what you've got down the bottom now there's settings and that has stuff like your call sign your grid locator that you put in a lot of the stuff is already filled in, but if you want, you can select your frequency, your control method. I'm using Vox, Voice Operated Transmit, and put in your transceiver if you want. So put in a few of those settings, and then go to some of the other tabs. Now, down here on the left is Decode. Now Decode has the screen showing what you're receiving. You've got call signs, you've got the time on the far left, signal to noise ratio, what they're saying, and it also comes up with their location and other information. As you can hear in the background, there's FT8 happening. And you can see call signs appearing on the screen. In this case, I'm just using speaker to microphone coupling. And quite a few popped up just there. The second tab, that just has those calling CQ. So this is a handy screen if you are looking for stations to call. Then you press on there and press on the one that you want and that will set your thing up to respond to them. But before that, you need to know about the spectrum. And you've got a waterfall spectrum display there. You might notice there, there's some text. It actually marks stations that are calling CQ, so you can read some basic activity on this spectrum screen. The other tab along is a section for QSO logs. There's some buttons here that's worth looking at. Top one is just your normal start screen. 
Next one is your frequency, so you can choose that. Third one, which is a speaker, your signal output strength. And your fourth one, map of the world. This has maps showing activity, contacts where you've been picked up. These are locator squares just there. Looks like that there's something happening at the moment between someone in VK4 and Europe. Clicking on that, there's VK4FB. Now you might notice this little speaker symbol on the top right of the display. That tells if you are transmitting or not. And if you press on that, that can stop you if you need to interrupt transmitting. Under the calling tab, there's a box for CQ. If you press on that, you've got a few of your scripts, a few of the things you might have said. Anyway, if you wanted to just call CQ, you press that one and press CQ there. What if I press this? We're calling CQ. Haven't got a response so far, but you can see the signal is being received as far north as Alaska. Doesn't seem to be anywhere else but Alaska. This shows how particular 10 meter openings can be, with three stations in Alaska detecting the signal, but no one anywhere else. It's around 9 p.m. and we're just testing 40 meters. This is the first contact with VK7LW. This isn't how I've done FT8, but this thing seems to be automatic. It's picking call signs that are calling CQ and then deciding that I want to respond to them and giving them a call. And in a few cases, contacts are resulting. It's 73 there, so I think we've actually made a contact. A very quick video on this FT8CN. Not much editing or other work on it, but just thought it was interesting. So go on to github.com, search for N0BOY and download FT8CN. Let me know how you go in the comments below.